Hey, I'm Kyle Adams, and today I'll be showing you the process I use for drawing a desk. I hope you get some things out of seeing this process, but I would also like to challenge you to draw your own desk. If you're watching this and you think this is interesting, maybe take a picture of your own desk, start making that in Adobe Illustrator, and if you do make it, I would love to see that. Share it with me on Twitter at It's Kyle Adams. You can also tag me on Instagram if that's a place you're sharing stuff. Also at It's Kyle Adams. And I look forward to seeing what you make. And also let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like me to clarify out of all the things you see here. There's a lot going on, I fully understand, but just wanted to show you my process and let you see a glimpse into what I'm doing to create these final pieces. And here's the final desk. I had so much fun with this project. I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing the process. It's definitely 
Uh, it was a fairly long process. I don't know if you noticed through there, there were times that I adjusted the sizing of things, the placement of things, the color of things, all, all of that. I'm constantly adjusting, shifting, and trying to make a good final piece. And I would encourage you to do that as well in your projects. One thing you may notice that I've had a few people mention is that I start with this grayscale black and white version of whatever I'm making. And then eventually I put color to it. The reason I do that is I see this very much like a sketch. So I'm not dedicated to any specific colors. I'm not dedicated to any specific scale of things. And what I'm doing is just laying out the groundwork for the future color work. I can make some adjustments after that. And I also see a good sense of contrast as I'm working on the piece before I put any colors with it. So again, hopefully you'll make your desk. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, just take a picture of your desk, try to make it an illustrator and share it with me if you want. Uh, these are great things, great illustrations to use on something like an about page, by the way. So if you do make your desk, just put it on your about page as like part of, you know, the idea of you and the sense of what you do and where you work and all those kind of things. It's really fun and it's interesting in that it's not just a throwaway illustration. It's something you can actually really use for specific things. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please subscribe. I'm going to have more of these videos coming up in the near future and I'll see you next time.